Hi, what's up? How is it going? So, this video we are going to be designing, you know, our flyer in Condor X7. So, you now actually we have uh, all these images we downloaded in fitbit.com. It's actually, uh, you know, and this image right here was downloaded and actually traced, you know, right there in fitbit.com. So, without further ado, let's step into it. So right now what we're going to do is to head over and change the page to A4. So give it a uh, hit on a uh, landscape right here because it's landscape uh, design we are designing. So right now we have the information ready to uh, be pasted. So right now let's head over and just you know create our background first. A better still let's have uh, Let's create a background or we'll click on our rectangle tool automatically snap into the page. So right now we're gonna be doing is to just bring in this image. So what we're gonna be doing now is to blend this all up. So all we need to do is to go ahead before I go for that. Let's just use the color dropper tool and sample uh, this color, color blue right here, put it on the background, put it on the background automatically. You have that, you know. Uh, Settled. So right now, go over to your uh, transparency tool. Let's blend the top part, which is this. So let's drag. So automatically, it blends that. You know. Then let's go ahead and convert to bitmap. Mind you, if you did not convert this to bitmap, most definitely, if you want to blend the other side, you should shift uh, to the other side without retaining. You know the blended part that you've done. You know. Uh, you know previously so right now let's go over you can see to retain that blended uh, area so let's blend this space again so you can see that automatically we have it retained so let's go over and convert to bitmap convert to bitmap again if you don't do that most definitely the one that pre you previously do we turn over to the next one you're about to do so let's go over and blend after it, uh, after we might have really even converted to bitmap, so let's go over to the next one automatically blends. So let's convert to bitmap as well. So let's go on to the next one, which is the bottom. So let's blend that as well. So go ahead and convert to bitmap. It's okay, good. So let's go ahead again and blend this part as well. So we have we want to have a blended uh, picture right there, you know, totally blended. So let's go over, convert to bitmap as well. Good. Let's go on right here, blend this. There you have that. Convert to bitmap as the last. So right now let's pack clip that into place, pack clip, put out key, select the email, release your hot key and adjust the feeling just like so. Nice one, good. So right now we're gonna be doing is to bring in the model which is this lady. So let's pack clip that as well. Put out key, select that, shift it right to the extreme. Good, just like so, good. So right now, what we're going to be doing is to create an object just like so. We are going to make this, you know, a uh, rare blue point right there. So let's go ahead to your, uh, what is it called, transparency tool, blend it, the top part, just like so. Good, nice one. So let's put that into place without key. Release your key and adjust the fitting just like so. Good, nice one. So, what we're going to be doing is to make the arrangements. So, the first uh, test right there is to is the uh, exchange for cars and land. So, let's cut that. So, this is going to be arranged at the top right here. So, let's add this. This step, Ctrl V, wait a while for that to initiate. So you have to be creative about, you know, uh, your designing, you know, so that's what makes you a designer. So let's wait a while for that to uh, paste. 
why is this uh, taking uh, time so we just have to wait so I can get the full detail of the designing wait a while for that wait a while for that <coughs> good so right now let's bring in these two cars so right now we are going to make that a little bit uh, you know, smaller okay. let's delete this I think we need to use this only so let's mirror then let's add this closer to each other nice one good 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 so right now what we're doing is to just you know lay emphasis on all of these so we just have to make this you know we are blue likewise the land we are blue so make it beat a bit there you have that position is so well so let's go over to the next one so we're gonna have to cut this as well cut the rest of this good ctrl x paste ctrl v to paste so let's go on and uh, arrange that enter right from here so it control case to break it into pieces so we're gonna have to really uh put this at the top you know area so what we're gonna be doing now is to have you know an object to this area with the above our rectangle too just like so so we are going to make this you know uh red so set the outline to white then all we're gonna be doing is to go ahead and hit control q to break it into pieces then uh select your shape to add a node right here so pull it all up just like so all you need to do is to just drag down drag it down a little bit then let's have the test to be white so right now what we're gonna be doing is to bring up the test you know it's actually behind the object so what we need to do is to just hold on control key and keyboard then tap on play down continuously until it gets to the top so right now we have that so so what we're gonna be doing is to make all of this you know all cap nice one good center it all up just like so nice one so let's make a copy of this in what this object so we're gonna have to adjust that set the outline so why then unfill it with you know none so what we're gonna be doing now is to hit F to F the dialogue pops up then we change the thickness to uh, 3 it's okay there you have that so right now let's make adjustment widen that a little bit then let's go ahead and just have it you know uh, pull down a little bit just like so good we have our shape too select this angle pull it down a little bit there you have that so let's try this you know how to then let's pack with the rest of this into the red box <coughs> Hold out key, select the object with the out key, then adjust the fitting just like so. Good, nice one. Let's zoom down. Good. So, right now, what we need to do is to bring the rest of the test downward. Then, let's have the name of the company to be the next area. So, let's make this a bit bigger. So let's have it to the white, apply white color to that. So right now what we're gonna be doing is to enter right from there, you know, good. So what we're gonna be doing now is to give it, you know, right alignment right here, go over to your shape tool, then reduce the tracking a little bit, increase the tracking right here. There you have that, good. So let's position it so well. So what we're gonna be doing now is to just set it half night to uh black then it's on f12 you know a dialogue pops up then let's change the thickness to to it's okay nice one so what we are going to do now is to go ahead and apply shadow to that just like so Drag. good so what we're going to be doing now is to make uh 
the shadow 100% then let's have this to be 7 points shadow feathering that's nice so what we'll be doing is to head over to our objects then it on break drop shadow apart automatically the breaks mind you what we'll be doing now is to just you know it control k to bring the test into pieces what we are going to do right now is to add effect to that select your what's it called entirety field tool let's add the you know upgrade an effect to the test so what we'll be doing is to head over select this you know add a point right here then hold control k give up a tap on layer blue you know keep tapping until you are okay uh with uh what you get so let's double click right here to add a node so we're gonna have to make this a little bit of uh you know cyan can you see that i think this is not actually nice so let's make it whitish a little bit there you have that nice one so let's let's drag that on top of the home copy your properties there you have it you know right there good so right now what we'll be doing is to just make this you know white so let's give it you know right alignment position it right here good so right now what we're we'll be doing is to just you know have that you know apply uh outline to that then let's make it a bit you know wider that's nice so go ahead it's f12 so looking at uh, one then check on my field then scale with object it okay there you have the set to apply shadow so that it can be visible slight shadow nice one so go ahead to so your object uh, hit on break drop shadow apart automatically breaks so right now the last but not the least so let's have the contact arrange is control k to break it in the pieces so right now what we're gonna be doing is to just you know lay emphasis on the font on the contact so right now let's have this to be i think it should be uh to align so make it wider a bit then let's stretch it a bit because uh, as the contact so let's make it a bit closer to each other so right now let's combine this contact make it white it's control uh you know enter it from here then let's bring the logo in between because that's the name of the coming so let's have that be white then go ahead let's use our shape to run it all up then let's have the logo part clip into the object put us key select the logo remove the other key and adjust just like so nice one so let's set it up right to white then let's go over it's f12 the dialogue box also so let's make this you know three points check on behind uh scale with object check on scale with object it okay nice one so let's drag it goes out to uh the contacts so let's enter the contacts right from there you know move it closer make a reduction a little bit good nice one so let's just position this a little bit up closer to that so let's have you know line you know to separate them so let's set the half line to white then let's eat after a dollar pops up so let's make it you know one point it's okay there you have nice one this is actually not you know clear enough I think we should make this white mm, can you see that nice one make it white 
So can you see that? Good. So can you see the outcome of what we created so far? You know, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button you subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far. As I always say, say my channel. See you in the next video. Bye for now.